Satnam. Good morning. morning. Good morning, Satnam. Morning, Domingo. Happy Sunday. Happy Domingo. Come see Mahan Raj sing at 9.30. Yeah, we'll have some fun. And we're doing the, you know, our beautiful meditation before Saturday and Sunday morning class. Um, so you can join that with Jojo. <sighs> so much love to you all. Um, you know, I watched the, um, the Guru Jagat movie that Mandeep made, and I'm just so present to what it is that we are all doing in Kundalini. And that is having the great privilege of being aware of who we really are through our life, remembering that we are God and having these tools that give us an opportunity to not waste prana on things like judgment and anger. The more we do kundalini, the more it elevates. It gives us an opportunity to finally have the choice. If you wonder, you know, if, why we do crazy things, there really is points in our early life, and if we don't ever take care of it, where it feels like you don't have a choice in your reaction. But kundalini yoga gives you that choice. And when we leave this earth, we don't take anything with us but our vibration and our subtle body. And it's these mantras that will carry us to the highest. We will hear in our aura, Guru, Guru, why? Taking us higher and higher. We'll be at home in the vibration of God because we have practiced all our lives how to return to the light. So we return to the light on a daily basis. Every moment is a choice. That's what the mirrors are about. We can choose to use the mirror of God to separate ourselves from God or to join. You know, and it, it, it's such a beautiful thing to spiritually mature because when we join, it doesn't mean we condone evil. It doesn't mean we condone rudeness. It just means we handle it so much different. We don't engage. We don't complain about it and have a bigger experience of it. If there's an opportunity in a negative or, or a fearful situation, we've got the prana from Kundalini to, to perhaps heal someone or give a different direction to go. Or we may simply acknowledge that that energy is not um, beneficial and move on with our day. The purpose of Kundalini Yoga is to stop wasting our life on nonsense. God gave this, gave us life today. May we use it to serve him. Yeah, the purpose of Kundalini is to create more awareness so that we can be aware of how important every millisecond is in our lives. Guru Jagat was talking about that in one of the last classes that she taught right up until you know, like a week before she passed. And so ironic that she was sitting up there and talking about how every millisecond is so important. And, you know, the practice of Kundalini is, is what will allow us, you know, the opportunity by giving us the awareness to realize that. It's a little hard sometimes to put that into perspective, but to me, it just, it really all comes down to you got to you got to take care of business in this lifetime there's no time to waste you know we always want to we always want to have that little buffer and you know we we create that buffer because we think that we don't have what it takes to live the kind of a life to be aware constantly 24/7 you know we 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 get this fear in us like oh I, I need to make time for all my rest and you know the reality is we get we get so much more rest than we than we ever really need or you know we never have to worry about having enough rest because it's always there but really just today just you know really acknowledge every millisecond of your day to the best of your ability you know if you're starting the day off doing this mantra you know, then you're starting it off the right way because like Mahanraj said, all this will be carried with us into the into the different atmospheres and ethers that we go through and pass through when we when we pass through this lifetime. And there is something about doing the meditation first thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it says to you, God matters most. 
and it sets up the day to be that way. It, it plugs you in to be in that mindset. So what a blessing, what a blessing. So bow your head, put your hands in a prayer. Heavenly Father, Holy Mother, Amen. I bow my head and I open my heart. I am grateful for this team of angels that surround me and this amazing group of yogis that are in this 40-day journey to love themselves and each other more and better. Guide us. Lead us on this day to have kind thoughts, words, and actions. And so it is. And dear God, today I will open up my channel of communication directly to you and I will improve and grow upon or even create, even if it's for the very first time, it's never too late to create this unbelievable relationship with you, enhancing it through my daily practice by stopping at the end in meditation and just giving my heart to you and feeling you in my heart as I move along in my life, as I grow and expand. I am so grateful to have this direct link with you in this life. And so it is. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Sat Nam.